Hi everybody, I'm Omid and I come back with another amazing Power Query tips. Today I'm going to talk about a drawback inside the Power Query for removing duplicate after sorting the table rows. See this example. This is the inventory value in different months for both product A and B. And I want to extract the last inventory value reported for each month. Inside the Excel, you can solve this problem easily. You just need to copy this data, paste it here, and then sort the data based on date in descending order. So let's press Alt A S D and then remove duplicate based on the months and product by pressing Alt A M and just select product and months. By doing this, it's going to provide this result, which is highlighted cells and which is exactly what I wanted. But if we do the same process inside the Power Query, we will receive different results. So let's see. I'm going to load this data into the Power Query. In the first step, I will sort data based on date in descending order, which is provided the right results, which result in what we saw in the Excel file. And then let's select these two columns, right click on one of them and pick remove duplicates. See the result. By doing this for the month nine, it's reported fifth of nine for both B and A. Why in previous step, the first two recorded value for A and B is on 8th and 7th of 9. And we expected to keep these two value. What? It, it seems that Power Query doesn't apply sorting before removing duplicate. It seems that it's going to remove duplicate and then sort it. Let's load the result into the Excel. This is the result for process of sorting the table based on the column date in descending and then removing duplicate. See? Short date. Yeah. It's provided this. I'm going back to the Power Query duplicate this query and reorder these two steps. Initially remove duplicate. See, I'm going to remove duplicate over the source table and then sort the result. Let's press close and load and say load the result here. As you can see, the result of both process are the same. It's reported these two value for the months nine. While we expected for the months nine reported these rows and these rows. What is the problem? Actually, the problem is that Power Query is lazy and try to execute the steps in the easiest way, in the most efficient way. So in both the scenario, it's going to first remove duplicate and then sort the result while it is different than what we expected. To solve this problem, it is just needed to go to the sort step in the first scenario and add table.buffer to load the result into the memory. By doing this and then removing duplicate, you can see that the result is different. Let's press close and load and see the result. Now, in the first scenario, it's going to provide our desired result. While without using table.buffer, you will receive different results. 